Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Shovel and I am finally back in Minecraft here. And you're probably thinking to yourself, this does not look like the same place I was last time. And you would be right actually. This is not only a different map, but this is actually an entirely different server. I did of course find another jungle because I'm still going to be doing my giant tree build and all that. But it's just going to be in a different place. Now, the reason why I changed the server that I'm on is because I was really loving the other server, but there were some problems. Um, I was not part of any of this, I kind of just came back to find it out, but basically what had happened was a couple of the people on there got into a big fight, uh, some people were kicked but not banned, they thought they were supposed to be banned but they weren't, and they came back on and griefed the server apart so the map had to be tossed out, and the new server provider that was doing everything actually dropped the connection maybe about every five minutes. So I made the executive decision for this Let's Play to continue somewhere else. So this is actually just a friend's server that's being run off of one of his computers in his house. So as far as I know, he's going to be doing a Let's Play, but he will not be adding anyone else to this server because it gets pretty laggy as soon as too many people join. Right now I think we only have three people that are allowed to play on here. But Again, I will link his channel, so when he puts up his first episode, uh, you guys can go over there, he'll probably have that information on whether or not he ends, ends up planning to open it up to anyone else. So, things are going to be different, it's going to be done here as far as I know for now. Uh, nothing should change here unless, of course, he finds he can't run the server, his computer's not powerful enough, but it seems to be running very, very good so far. So, so far, all I've really done is gone in and make sure that the uh just the kind of like the beginning stuff is done as you can see i have some materials saved up look at all this redstone and i've got the enchanting table set up and with the addition of the easier enchanting i've actually got some nicer tools right now this is all mostly for mining and a few mobs that i've killed i have a lovely mine down here this is actually connected this railway over to oh look a slime this is actually connected over to my friend Copycat's house. That is, by the way, who is hosting this server. Definitely go check him out. I will link him. And I've just been digging this out. But I'm definitely not going to be doing that on camera because that is very, very boring. So instead, we'll go take a look around the jungle. Now, I think I have actually picked a spot for my tree already, which is pretty amazing because last time I was having a lot of trouble, but this is a very, very big jungle. So I'm not going to have too much trouble. I kind of want to perch it up on a hilltop. I'm going to just clear an area out. Again, I'm probably not going to do that on camera, just because it's it's boring, you know? I want to keep this to be as exciting as possible, so I will cut out as much as I can. But the place that I actually plan on doing this is probably on this hill right above here. So I will see if I can make my way up here, but it's a bit of a jumping puzzle right now. And... The little base I have right now is always probably just going to stay as that. It's going to stay a little base with my strip mine in it. Uh, I might end up just moving it over to under the tree, but I'm thinking about right up here, because you have this beautiful view of the extreme hills biome over there, which Copycat's house is somewhere over there. I'm not exactly sure, but I know it is somewhere in this general area. But this is such a great place over here, and it just it's going to look really awesome, you know, surrounded by the forest. I was tempted to go a little bit further in, but this is kind of like the tallest hill. I'm going to leave a lot of those really fancy big trees so you can see this nice big open mountain biome. And I, there's cats everywhere here, but I don't really like cats that much. They just kind of get in the way. They sit on chests, beds, and all that, as far as I know, unless that has changed. But for what I know, this is, it's just kind of like an annoying thing. I'm pretty sure they scare creepers away. In fact, I'm definitely sure they scare creepers away, but I don't know. I don't think that really balances out how annoying they are to have around sitting on chests. You have to probably just kill them to get them off. But I will probably make a little bit of a sped up of time here and cut down some of these trees to clear out this top mountain area. So I will see you guys after I'm done that.
Okay, now I figured I'd stop here for a little bit just because this is a very nice view. I figured I'd show it off a little bit. This is a huge jungle. It just it stretches on for as long as I can see in pretty much well, two directions actually. It stretches on pretty far over here. I'm just at the very entrance to it and it just goes on for forever over here. I have walked it's probably at least a couple thousand blocks long, so it does go for quite a ways, and I'm going to make do of or make use of all that actually. I'm going to put out a lovely tree farm. I've started collecting a bunch of wood already, but I don't really want to do it in the jungle wood. I don't know. I just I don't like the texture on it as much as the I do believe oak. I think that's what I'm probably going to do. I do like the dark wood, but it would be a little bit harder to get because there's not as much around here. So I got a little bit here, mostly just uh, clearing out leaves and that, and if you guys are kind of screaming at your monitors right now, don't use the good axe on that. It's totally okay because one trip down to my mine, and I will pretty much get all of that experience back, and I'll be able to get another one. Enchanting is very easy in this patch if you have not played any survival yet, so I'm really not that concerned about using it up or anything like that, because it's so, so easy to level now. And really all you need to do, mine some ores, you get a ton from redstone, and there's so much redstone down at that level where my mine is. You get crazy amounts from gold, you get crazy amounts from iron even, it's it's just ridiculous. So I will be looking for a spawner still, but for now, just going down to my mine is all I'll be needing to level. Which is very nice actually, you know. I did like the experience and all that and the enchanting, but I didn't really like the way you had to go about it, because it wasn't so much that you had to be really good at fighting mobs, it really just relied on building a mob system, finding a spawner, and then just sitting there and having the patience to grind out all the experience. So, I didn't really like exactly how it was being done, I loved the fact that there was enchanting and experience and all that, but I don't know. I've just personally always felt that it should be a little bit quicker just because of how tedious it was to level through, and we've got a lot of saplings over here, which is going to be great for our tree farm. And this this just looks like such a great place. I've got a lot more of clearing to do here, but I'll probably do the rest of it at some other time on my own time, because I want to try to keep this entertaining, as I was saying. But, yeah, so I'm... I don't know, I'm just, I'm not that concerned about wasting axes or anything like that. I mean, it's barely taken any damage at, as it is. But, yeah, enchanting has gotten way easier. I love it. I really like the fact that, you know, you get experience for mining and that now. I don't know, I think you might even get experience for cooking. I haven't, I wasn't really paying attention when I did that. But, it's, it's just great. It makes everything a lot less tedious than that. And... Overall, it just I think it really adds to the game, because now you're wasting a lot less time just standing outside, like an, a spawner, maybe AFK or whatever, but it's nice to now just be able to go out, level up while doing something else, so you can be productive all at once. And I'm going to let these leaves despawn, and oh, I missed some logs up there, but I'm going to let some of this stuff despawn. I'm pretty sure there's no more logs in here. No, so I'm going to let some of these leaves despawn and go back to my house. And I'm not really sure exactly what I want to do today, just because I mostly I wanted to make this because I'm not 100% set up yet. I'm not ready to start working on the treehouse yet or anything. But I wanted to make an episode because people have been asking for more Minecraft, and I want to deliver some more Minecraft. So I wanted to make sure I got the message out about this server and why it, exactly it's going to be different. And of course, no hate to those people, but I I don't know. I just felt like it was a bad situation and I kind of wanted to get out of it because no matter what everyone kind of wanted me to take their sides and I'm not really big into that I don't like to take sides and things like this I don't want to make enemies I'm sure these people will probably come and dislike this video anyways but there's not much I can do about that so hopefully I can put this all behind me and continue on as if it didn't happen it's very disappointing because I was really excited I thought you know I kind of got into the ground floor of something but it it didn't really work out. I ended up just kind of getting into something that didn't end up working out at all, but it's okay now because I do have a place to do this, and hopefully I won't ever have to switch to just single player. I might do something on single player one day anyways, but that'd probably be with a bunch of like mods and that, just to kind of like spice it up. Because vanilla Minecraft is great on a server and that, but I like to try to keep things a little bit uh, more exciting and new. 
Now I'm down here kind of like just because I figured I'd talk about this anyways, but what I've always wanted to see in Minecraft is I love... I, well, I don't really love Void Fog, but Void Fog is there. I think it's a neat idea and a neat addition. What I've always thought would be amazing would be a, like a Void Monster or something. I know it's not going to be put in, and no one's really going to see this and all that, but I always thought that would be cool. I don't know if anyone else agrees, but I thought they could do something a little bit more to make it a little bit more dangerous going down there. And I'm getting a little bit of FPS lag here. I don't know what that could be. Maybe it's just transitions. But... I will actually probably go do a little bit of caving here, and I think I'm going to drop off my axe, though, because I don't want to lose that. Uh, I'm not sure how long I've been going for here, but I might actually just wrap it up soon. And this pick is actually pretty good, but it does not have unbreaking on it, so that one I'm going to use a little bit less frivolously. But I will go do so a little bit of caving, or at least show you a cave that I found. This was a... I don't know, there were a ton of, I think it's like three ravines crisscrossing. I don't know if maybe they buffed ravines or something, but there are crazy amounts of ravines everywhere. I just, there's tons of them. And I just, I keep running across them, and it's like a ravine attached to an abandoned mine shaft, attached to two more ravines, and it's just going crazy. So, I figured I'd just pop down here because this video is getting close to the end, probably. But this is very big, there's one ravine going this way, then there's another one going crisscrossed here, and there's an abandoned mine shaft over there. It's a crazy, crazy place, and the big problem that I had was, in all of this, even though it does head more downhill eventually, there was not a single diamond down here. I was very, very upset with that, and this is probably blocked off. Yeah, I remember why that was blocked off. We were down here exploring me and copycats, and we were getting chased by a bunch of creepers, so we just kind of blocked that off. But yes, this is mostly explored. I might come down here again at some point to show you guys, but for the most part, that's really all I wanted to do for now. I will probably be making these a lot more frequently now that I have a stable server. This, as you can see, has not disconnected even once, which is beautiful, because that was very, very frustrating. I think the second episode already there were a lot of cuts in that in it because it just it disconnected so often so this time hopefully I will be able to make a whole bunch more episodes it won't be as difficult to do because I won't have to worry about the crazy amounts of editing everything will just be in one place at one time but that's all I wanted to say for now so I will see you guys next time and thank you for watching